The Rockets are making a renewed bid to try to acquire all-star Jimmy Butler. And the proposed offer includes four future first-round draft picks. What are your thoughts about, honestly, the offer and the idea of Butler maybe going to Houston in this fit? Well, so it sounds like a lot on the surface yeah. because you don't ever hear that. Four first-round picks. But here's, I think, what Houston is thinking. They've already committed $300 million plus to their best two players, right? So they're going down that road. Chris Paul, we would all agree, is past his real prime years, and he sees the end, certainly, not too far down the road. James Harden's still in his prime, but committed, and by the time he gets through his contract, we'll be past that point. They look at it like, if we have these guys on our roster at this number, we have to go ahead and try to close the gap with Golden State and try to win now. Otherwise, what are we? And I think what they've seen early in the season, losing the defensive-minded presence of Ariza and Bamute, they can see they've taken a step back. And some teams right behind them have taken a step forward. So it's a little bit more muddled beyond Golden State. And I think they want to differentiate themselves. The other thing, Kevin, they're saying if it's our first-round pick, and we're that good every year. Yeah. What is the pick? You're, you're talking the, about you're a top five like 20s, pick, right? A 26 through 30 in the first round year after year. If that's the mentality, it makes a lot more sense if you put okay. it in that context. They need to go for it in this tight window. You mentioned the West, and you mentioned a couple teams. And some people bring up the Blazers, the Nuggets, maybe the Pelicans, who are surging now early in the season. Jimmy Butler on the Rockets, hypothetically, is that enough for Houston matched up against the Warriors? I don't think so because I still don't understand how a guy that plays the way Jimmy Butler plays to fit in with the system that they have. Look, this is a team that's predicated on literally running one set the entire game. A high ball screen with two of the best guys to ever do it and then a bunch of shooting spaced out. How exactly does Jimmy Butler fall into that category? He's not a spot up space and shoot guy. He's a guy that needs a rhythm off the bounce. That means you run some stuff for him in the post. You give him some isos. You let him handle the ball a little bit. It goes away from a system that last year proved to be one of the hardest in the league to defend and mm -hmm. had a 3-2 lead in the Western Conference Finals against the Golden State Warriors until Chris Paul goes down. So I don't know how the fit is right to play in that system. Clearly, it elevates your talent level, and you have a go-to all-star in his prime. I still don't know that it's enough, and I don't know that that's all going to fit and work to close that gap with Golden State.